Okay, we're going to try something here. I don't know how it's really going to work or not work. I know I look stupid as all hell. But uh, I had the 3D camera sticking off the top of my head on a hat. And uh, I gotta see how it works. Uh, probably not gonna work at all, to be honest with you, because it's probably too high and flopping around too much. Whoops. So what am I doing here? I am going to put an extension on the chimney. Hopefully get it to work a little better. Get one of these little cylinders or one of these patio blocks uh, stick under this. This is going to be too much. Yeah, it's too much. Uh, let's see what happens. What do I need? Philip. A Philip. Yeah, I need a Phillips screwdriver. Actually, I'm going to take it off here instead. Because then I can put this on the other piece and then put the whole thing in. Otherwise, how am I going to get this on if it's five feet up? So, and the bottom is a lock-in. Now the top's locked in too. Couple of my guys, see how I look? Do oh, I look stupid? A uh, couple of the guys that I know are conductors on the train, so they uh, have a habit of blowing the horn when they go by. So, must be a real rough ride up there, guys because uh, I feel you bouncing around up there. You know, I almost feel like a beanie in Cecil with a little beanie cap. <laughs> so. If I hold the hat down, it doesn't move around as much. See what I mean? Do I look stupid? Stupid, stupid. Uh, so let's go over here. Bend down. Bend down. 
Okay. Let me take it off. Put it down there for a minute. I picked up everything I needed for the finishing of the uh, heated birdhouse. All right, so now we're going to put this together. And for those of you who may or may not know how to do this, it isn't always the easiest thing to do. this going to go over or uh, in? Looks like it's probably going to go in. Huh. May have a bit of an issue here because i got to figure out how this is going to fit into the other piece. See, this is double walled. And to be honest with you, it's, I don't need double wall right now because it's outside. Once it clears part of the building, I really don't need it, if you know what I mean. Uh, you know, going through the roof, I would want double wall, and I'd want at least an inch or so all the way around it. Going through a wall, I'd want double wall, with at least an inch or two all the way around it. But once you clear the structure by a foot or two, then you can run single wall. And in this case, there's nothing wrong with the single wall stuff. I just got to figure out how it's going to fit out there. So give me a minute. So, this one can go in here. All I got to do is get this open enough so that this will fit in. Now it'll fit, and I'm going to put some heat resistant uh, caulk in there. But I want to be able to get it in there without really screwing with it. So I just cut some slices in this pipe so I can just close it up a little bit. And like I say, it's going on an upward angle, which is fine. Upward vent. And I want to be able to get it in there without fighting it. And I'm going to put some heat resistant caulk that's good up to like 2500 degrees in there. And I'm going to also, uh, put some screws in there to hold it, so I don't have to worry about it. So let me get some self tappers.
about that, guys. Uh, let me see here. I gave up on the DeWalt. I was going to order a new battery pack and battery. But you know what? It's not worth it. And it's not even worth going out and trying to buy repurpose kits to repurpose it. I'm not even going much trying to do it. I just say, you know what? Screw it. This pipe is not going to get that hot by no means. However, I do have fire barrier cork here, so I'm just going to use it so I don't have to worry about it. And do I really need it up here? No, but I want it to at least help hold in case the uh, screws themselves uh, rust out or something. At least I have another form of something here that will help hold. Plus, let me drop the pin. Plus, it'll also help with any draft getting up in there. Because a lot of this naturally has to do with draft. So, as long as I have the right stuff, what the hell, I might as well use it. I want it to look neat. Just in case we have a low flying bird or plane coming in. At least it'll look halfway presentable. Alright. Now I just dropped that pan. And in that pan, there were two screws. Here's one. And the other one, that took me a few minutes to find, is not going to be the one that's going to take a few minutes to find. was one of the screws that hold the handle on the pan got lost somewhere and we can't have a pan that we're filling up with hot water or boiling on the stove uh, lose the handle when it's filled with hot stuff so, all right All right, so let me put you back on, see if it works. Okay, now you're back on my head. And I look like a, a silly old man. 
However, a good looking silly old man. <laughs> All right, let's go out here and see what we come up with. Now, this is supposed to fit right in, which it should. Well, I don't need the screwdriver out here. I already got one up there. Screw gun, that is. Uh, the only thing is, I can't tip my head back to see above the brim because if I do, I'll lose the camera and the hat. So it does make it a little difficult doing things here. I gotta keep my head straight. Okay, and that's gonna fit right in there. Right, good. So let me lay this down here for a minute. And throw some gook in here. Ah, I hear birds heading. I hear birds heading south. Yeah, I don't see him yet, but I hear him. Oh, there they are, up above. Yeah, poor guys. Every year they have to flock up and fly south. Yeah. We as humans don't realize how easy we actually have it. And what do we do? We complain. Okay, now that will get harder. You know, I'm going to take you guys off for a minute. Put you there, see if you can stay for a minute. Much higher. Now what I'm doing here is I got one more and I'll use it, I guess. There. Oops, sorry, guys. Now, the problem I was having was the top of the chimney, that piece up there, was right here, which is kind of even. Now, they tell you it doesn't have to be above the peak, but it does have to be above this part here, wherever it's next to. So even a foot or two foot would do it. Um, and they tell you that in the directions that you can have it even, but uh, 
at this point apparently not because uh, I was getting a downdraft and it was blowing in and which was shutting down so at that point uh, if it's all gonna put it up I might as well put it up as long as I know it'll support it I'm gonna put it up there so that's what I did so as you see I put it up five feet higher than what it was so I should have no problem with draft and it's got a power van on top of it so that should also help so all right let me get this other drill that I brought out here hey Nick and go inside you'll have to excuse out there we're getting ready to clean up for the winter so I'm uh, cutting things up and making more of a mess it's actually nice out there today however uh, it's wet uh, but temperature wise it's nice all right I'm gonna take you guys off the hat so excuse me Dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. Because this hat idea is uh, not going to work. I'm using up nuts and bolts for something that I can be using for something that I can really be using it on. Instead of having it on here. There. Okay. All right. So we're done. I'm back. So meanwhile, as I was saying, let me get this off here. There. I am just not a hat person. I find them not so much uncomfortable but annoying you because you know you got the brim in the way so every time you want to look up you got to look up above the brim you know or push the hat up or turn it around and what a pain in the ass it is now when I'm on the tractor the hat comes in handy especially if I'm facing into the sun because it keeps the sun out of my eyes so it does have a purpose but to have it on every day for no reason that drives me nuts I can't handle it all right so we're done with that uh, I'm gonna do a little work out there but I'll use the other camera